Hello, this is the Trade Take List Stocks and Futures Market Preview for Thursday the 23rd and Friday the 24th of July 2020. Hope you had a good trading week. This will be the last market preview for the week. I know I missed last night, but I couldn't get to it. Um, look, let's be honest. Monday was amazing. It was a great day. Tuesday was awful. Wednesday was awful. Nothing even happened. We're not, it's just like hit or miss right now. We only really need two good trading days a week. That's how we operate. We had it Monday. I'd love to have it Thursday and not worry about Friday. But we'll see what we get. You can't make it happen. And the most important thing with trading is what? Analyze the market first. Trade what makes sense based on what the market's doing second. Make sure you're in the right direction. And then that's it. So that's what we're going to look for for the rest of the week. We may or may not get anything. We're in the middle of summer. It's obviously a weird time. Having said that, it's also very strange because we're in the middle of core earnings season. There's a lot of things that could go wrong. Um, we'll just see what happens. Look, that's it. Last two days of core earnings, so Wednesday and Thursday after the bell, see the most earnings of the whole season. So we will be paying attention to that. Here's a look at the ES front month futures contract. This is the daily chart of the broad market in futures form. Nothing there. Let's look at the daily charts of everything else. Crude oil up 14 cents to 4204. It's been fairly flat. Gold up five dollars and seventy cents. New highs on gold. SP cash gains 18.72. Gold should be a warning sign for a lot of things, but we'll see what happens. Uh, the NASDAQ 100 up 37.68, which is a blip. It's no, not new highs. Socks up eight points. Doesn't matter. We had a 13 cell signal. We're still under that. Biotech's down 11.07. Russell 2000 gains two point something, and that's right up against the risk line from the 13 cell signal. The VIX down 52 cents to 26.71, but it was lower the day before. Trend closes at point. 9.4, the 10-day moving average, can't make it up. What's the number we care about? 1.0, it's exactly on there. Advanced client ratio, or I'm sorry, NASDAQ volume was 4.1 billion. It's actually pretty light. It's uh, one of the five lightest days of the last two months, so just be aware of that. Uh, advanced decline ratio on NASDAQ, this is interesting, negative 2, a negative 3.15, so more stocks down than up on the New York, plus 5.38, more stocks up than down. If you add it all up, the entire market pretty much net net flat. Google gains eight dollars and ninety three cents. Uh, Apple up a dollar and nine, but Netflix down twenty eight cents. That doesn't matter for Netflix. Amazon down thirty eight point three eight. Tesla up twenty three point nine seven, and evidently up after the bell. Let's take a quick look at that. Actually, here let's go through the rest first. Facebook down a dollar eighty eight, still under that thirteen sell signal risk line. Google Goldman Sachs down six point oh two. TLT the twenty year bond. ETF up 50 cents. The Dow was up 165. So let's go to five minute candles. And before we look at anything else, let's just take a quick look because we had uh, earnings come out after the bell on, uh, I was on Netflix. And so let's just see what that meant in terms of uh, after I was straight from the 24 hour. Yeah, it was actually up. There you go. Tesla up after the bell. Now making 50 cents a share. If you analyze that, it's $2 a share. Sure, that justifies $1,600 as a stock price. But like I said, there's a short squeeze there, and that's what it is. Um, all right, so now in terms of everything else, let's get back to the five-minute candles. Let's take a look at the ES. It was a pretty boring day, right? Monday we had a good day. That's over here on the far left. But then when Tuesday hit, we gapped up dead flat, sold off in the last hour and a half. An hour, maybe not even that. Tuesday, pretty flat, banged around a lot, and then just the last hour. So the last two days have been flat again. We're just not seeing the action that we want to see. NASDAQ side, not much different. It is what it is. So let's not get wrapped up in it. It's a pretty boring market, and uh, you got to do what you got to do. Here's a Thursday unemployment claims. That's the weekly initial and continuing jobless claims numbers at 8.30 a.m. Eastern Time. CB leading index at 10. Natty gas at 10.30 on Friday. Flash manufacturing and services PMI numbers at 9.45. New home sales at 10. That's it. So that's the rest of the week, and we will probably not be doing a market preview for tomorrow. Charts as usual brought to you by eSignal. If you've not yet taken the trial of our services, feel free to do so. We will help you out for a couple of weeks. Have a great trading Thursday and Friday.